Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, in this uh, video, like we will be exploring uh, Nokia SROS configuration, and uh, the different concepts uh, will be presented and configurations uh, will be uh, done uh, in the upcoming playlist. I'm not going to deep dive into uh, concepts. Uh, the mainly the playlist uh, will be used for uh, performing the configuration on the SROS. And uh, for to start with the basics that uh, these are the basics that I'll be going through uh, in this uh, video, maybe a part one, maybe if I'm able to uh, you know, cover this uh, basics, uh, then I'll be doing it in the same video in case if it takes uh, you know, time, then I'll be covering it in the uh, next part for the basics. Then uh, once this basic is covered, then we'll be uh, start uh, doing configurations like uh, uh, how do we do a basic uh, SNMP, uh, uh, then uh, router configurations like uh, different protocol configurations isis ospf bgp uh, mpls rsvp ildp segment routing and we'll be exploring the different uh, service provider topology and configurations in the upcoming uh, videos in case if you want to know uh, and learn more how to do this different concepts in uh, nokia routers then you can subscribe to my youtube channel and like and share it with your friends also in case if you have any uh, challenges in your production network or in your learning then you can do a comment and you can uh, share the topology with me then uh, what i will do i will analyze the topology then i'll help you to to do the uh, configuration on the nokia router okay that sounds great right so we can uh, learn together and we'll uh, you know explore together on the uh, sros configuration so to start with uh, i'll be uh, discussing about the uh, nokia router login uh, so in case if you want to like uh, do, i'll be doing it in the virtual basically i don't have uh, the real router so what i have done in previously is uh, i did uh, made some videos uh, like for different vendors and uh, how to do the uh, Nokia SR uh, OS like 7750 SR 7250 IXR on the uh, EVNG. Here you can uh, refer my playlist. Also, I have added a video how to add your uh, virtual license uh, here uh, in the same playlist. Also, you can refer my playlist uh, and add your uh, VSR with multiple IOM cards or whatever the requirements all are uploaded in this uh, uh, playlist. Then you can refer this and then you can start along with me to unlearn nokia 7750 or 7250 uh, 7x50s uh, sros uh, configuration hope oh, okay uh, let me move on so for the current topology that i'll be uh, discussing uh, this is the topology i already have the build up setup in uh, evng and uh, for now i'll just did uh, two uh, I, I added the two routers here you can see this is a cpm control brain this is an iom it's nothing but your uh, line card okay this is a physical uh, you know the uh, cards where you will in you will be inserting your uh, you know pour in cables uh, in the uh, router so basically this is a sf so let me explain this basic because uh, in case if you're new to nokia maybe uh, you should be knowing this so control plane is nothing but uh, like all your control plane like traffics like uh, uh, ospf or any uh, router management is called a control plane right and so that uh, will be uh, managed uh, in a separate that's called a control plane card and there is a ibom card act where your actual uh, traffic it's in case if you are uh, browsing or your data coming inside the interface everything will be hitting this then based on the information available in the cpm that traffic will be uh, sent through the uh, other ports in the ibom card okay and this cpm uh, like where we have the separate uh, in case some providers right so they will be maintaining a separate management network just to manage the network because in case if they do uh, the if they do configure the management for the routers in within their uh, you know code there will be a, there will be outage in sometimes that they may lose uh, access to the routers for that what most of the uh, like vendors do is like uh, providers, service providers, or uh, whoever it is, uh, they maintain a separate uh, management network so that uh, you know it will not uh, uh, you know fails and they'll have some redundant so to achieve and log into the routers remotely. 
okay for that i have the management interface okay let's ta start to explore and uh, i'll be covering the basic as i mentioned uh, router login what is mean by bof and out of management what is uh, iom mda how do we configure it how to configure a host name basics and how to work basic troubleshooting and logging and you know few more things that i'll be discussing in this video let's kick start okay now here you can see like let me uh, disconnect this and yep if i disconnect when you log into the router in the first time yes before that what i will do okay so i have the router login the default username for the uh, router login is admin admin because i've already uh, created a connection so it's not uh, showing so let me again open the connection with it let's see yes because it's i mean console so i already entered the uh, admin and admin. here you can see it will pop up the username as login and the default username and password once you, the router is boot up is admin admin is your a default username and password and to uh, this this is the uh, once you log in this you can see this hash line where you will be able to uh, you know execute all the show commands here also you will be able to do one configuration change that is the bof actually so why this bof is used basically uh, so this bof contains all the uh, parameters or the necessary files that is required to run your configuration up and running sorry the router up and running with the necessary configuration so here you can see the primary image inside the bof uh, and uh, you have the primary configurations what is the what is your con in case if you start adding your configuration that configuration will be added here once uh, you start saving the uh, configuration line okay so uh, same like cisco like once you do the configuration it will be in the running configuration same like here it will be there if you don't save the uh, configuration then that in case of any reboot of the router then it will be deleted so make sure whenever you perform a configuration you do save it at the end of your uh, configuration okay otherwise you will tend to lose it if you don't save it so then you have the license file because i am running on a virtual uh, environment so you need a license for uh, running in a virtual environment for now uh, so for that i have added my license here in the uh, license file under the bof and this is my uh, primary uh, address that is used to uh, you know uh, set a connection for the bo uh, for the out of management and i have the secondary uh, standby address also available and there are a few more options available uh, let me show you how to uh, perform the configurations under the bof for that you just simply uh, enter bof then enter then if you see if you give like a prompt if you want to know like what are the configurations uh, syntax that are available inside any particular uh, uh, in a hierarchy you just go simply uh, do a question mark when you when you do the question mark uh, same like cisco or any event uh, any other vendor like juniper or any other vendor so you'll be prompted what are the uh, configuration and and with an explanation will be available so here you can see these are the uh, different types of uh, you know options that i have available inside the bof that is the care for the management traffic so here you can see like uh, have configured uh, so in case if you are doing any uh, like upgrade on the router the primary thing that what you will do is you will do the uh, you will upload the uh, file inside so the cf3 i'll explain you what is cf3 uh, inside this this is like uh, your file right will be uh, maintained in cf1 or cf3 so basically here it is uh, cf3 here you will upload your file using filezilla or winzip with a cp or any uh, ftp server to the router and then you upload the file then you change the primary image pointing to that then you do a bob save then admin save then you will be able to perform the upgrade so in case if i want to save it i'll just simply execute the command save then it will save my bof okay then i will exit so bof is a main part for up and running the router so make sure that your bof is like uh, always uh, you know you're not not messing up with the bof the next is i'll be uh, showing you so in case if you want to do any configuration uh, other than bof so you need to enter into the configure terminal <coughs> 
So you'll, for that, you'll have to uh, enter configure. Then you will be a, will have access to uh, to the configuration uh, mode on the router. Then you will be able to perform the configuration. Say so consider like I'll put this name. So this is a system, right? So the Nokia is an like complete hierarchy where in case if you want to like go inside uh, something uh, configuration, like uh, you'll have to go into that hierarchy, then do the configuration. So this name will be in this is router host name will be under the system. So I'll be just configuring P01. So yeah, let me change it. Yes, it changed. Uh, but in case if I reboot it without saving, then what will happen is um, it will be uh, removed P01, whatever I configured will be removed and it will be plain R1 only. So for that, I'll just going back uh, and I'll say admin save. This is a command uh, you used to save the configuration on the router. Okay, the next is I'll be uh, okay. I'll be showing uh, the logging. Actually, the, basically the basic troubleshooting, right? The basic troubleshoot uh, includes the uh, uh, actually the uh, command line in the same like in Cisco or Juniper where you have show logging or show log is available. Same like in uh, Nokia, you have uh, something called log uh, ID. So you can check this using log collector. So show log log collector. So this will have the uh, default uh, that is available uh, on the router. Here you can see there are three different types of uh, uh, logs that is available. One is log ID 99, 100, and 101. Uh, in case of any troubleshooting, that this will be used to do the troubleshooting. So let me show you what is available inside the log ID. So basically when you do some configurations or uh, you know or some troubleshooting right so you need to understand okay where you need to find the log uh, to see like what issue is actually happening so here you can see all the events are you know reported in the uh, log id right here you can see the log id which reports all the uh, logs here and let me go through log id 100 What are happening? So here you can see that I save the uh, configuration, right? So here the whatever the uh, user uh, committing is uh, con the configuration that is performing, right? So that will be uh, displayed here. You can see the configuration is saved on this particular line. So you will be able to find out like who is doing the configuration and what has been done on the router during that particular uh, time, actually. So this is available in the log ID. So in case if you want to, uh, you know, uh, like do customize one there is an option like you can do more customize for that you need to go as i mentioned you have to use configure then you'll have to go into like what we are going to do we are going to do a configuration the log so just enter log okay then you have log id path then i'll be configuring log id uh, 20 here it's a customized one so what do you want from security just 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 default like what are if in case you want to do like know the options you just simply uh, execute the question mark it will ask you like what are the uh, uh like it will display what are the options that you have available so from security any type of security uh stream right so or that will be uh you know displayed to where you want to do you can do like there are other options that with there are few options you can see you can do throw it in the session uh, console session or you can do it into syslog or you can send it to snmp as a destination or you have options to netcon for you can uh, do the uh, you know log id log file id so basically uh, i can uh, create a file id then i will be able to send the log save the logs all the logs the file id for my future reference for now i'll just uh, send it like i'll just say it as like uh, to session right for the uh you know easy purpose and you want to like uh, how to uh you know uh, check like what are the uh, configuration that you have performed inside that particular just or what are the available configurations inside the particular hierarchy just execute info it's is very easy actually once you start uh you know exploring the uh, nokia cli you will start loving it actually so just give info, then it will explain everything. Exit all or exit. Exit all will directly uh, come to your uh, the basic uh, CLI prompt. And uh, exit pitch, like word by word hierarchy, it will be coming out. Uh, just check the uh, log collector, show log log collector. 
yes here you can see in the log collector we have uh, configured a log id see here it was also mentioned whether it is a main or security change or debug so it will explain actually uh, the uh, what hierarchy that it has been configured and uh, in the log id what is the log id whether it do have any filter id any log id field file is like configured uh, for that or not so everything will be uh, you know displayed uh, using this particular command